What you're looking for is a story. Science works through stories. My name is Tim Osborne. I'm a director and producer of documentaries. I've been working mainly at the BBC for the last three or four years, but I've made films for National Geographic and Discovery and uh, ITV and BBC, uh, Channel 4. At the moment I'm making a horizon for BBC Two about the science behind the obesity epidemic. Today we're filming a whole series of gorgeous, delicious fatty foods that are really attractive so that we can begin to understand what, it, what it's like when you have a drive to eat. The business of getting from subject idea to filming is a long and tortuous one. It's like doing a university degree in six weeks. You have to live and breathe the science until you actually know what you're talking about. And one of the greatest pleasures is that you get the chance to talk to the leaders of the field. You can ring people up and say, I don't know anything about genetics. Can you talk to me about it? And, and you can get to meet some of the greatest geneticists in the country and they'll, they'll brief you on what's exciting, what's interesting. And that's a real pleasure. It's one of the most exciting parts of the business. Putting science in a visual medium on television is all about telling stories. You've got to find a way to make your science into a story, whether it's the story of the science discovery or the revelation of what the science means or how the science affects us. It's about storytelling. If it's just as a series of facts, it's very dry and boring. I think you've really got to work very hard to find a good narrative. I think if you're beginning your career in science documentary, it's very important to get into somewhere where science documentary is being made. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a cliche, but you've got to start at the bottom. So it's worth becoming a runner or an assistant or just a, a work experience. And there are places that offer that. The BBC have a very good work experience and quite a lot of production companies will have a work experience. And that's the way that you learn about the craft of television. And then if you can find a place that's doing science documentary at the same time, then you can learn about science documentary. It's quite important, I think, in science documentary to have a science background, although it's not completely necessary. It feels right now that it's a very exciting time in science communication. There's a lot of very new, exciting science happening right now, and uh, the media is taking an interest in it. So now, I think, more than any time before, is the time to get into it. Oh, it's a magical cheese ball. <laughs> That's a cheese ball. <laughs>